Hey guys, welcome back. I have my melts to share with you, so I'm going to get right into it, show you what I melted, and let you know what it did for me in my house. First up is Victoria's Designer Creations in Ooey Gooey Caramelized Pralines Zucchini Bread. What a mouthful. But this one was okay. It was a light to medium throw, and I it was one of those mini loaves. Cut it in half. It was in an 18 watt in a very small room. Got a very light throw from it. Also, Victoria's Designer Creations Peppermint Breeze. And this one was alright. It wasn't as strong as I thought it would be based on the cold sniff and especially being peppermint and like a cooling outdoorsy note with it. It wasn't that strong. From Sniff My Tart, this was Coffee Cake. And this was super, super strong. I loved it. It was an intense cinnamon kind of scent. Really, really strong. From Derriere, this was Nutty Sweet Potato Pie. This was just like a little gingerbread. I think I got it as a sample or something. But um, it was pretty good. It was a light to medium throw, and it was in a small room in a lower watt warmer. You definitely got a little bit of like that sweet potato scent, but it wasn't incredibly, incredibly strong. From Front Porch, this is Blueberry Pomegranate Crisp. This one was really good. I did like this one. The pomegranate and the blueberry together was something different. And it, it was kind of refreshing, I guess, because of the pomegranate. But it was a good throw on it. I did like that one. Um, also from Derriere is some cubes I have in Soda Shop. And when I melt this one, it's kind of like a fruity scent, but it's like a deeper barrier scent, if that makes any sense. It's a deeper berry scent. It's a light to medium throw for me as well. A couple here from Rose Girls. Starman's Starfruit Swizzle Sticks. And from the June order, she lets you swap, um something if you had to so I wanted to melt this to see if I would like it because I liked it on cold and I ended up did I did switch this one out because it gave me a headache it is super strong so if you like these kind of scents it was like a tropical scent but it had a little something else to it but it was intensely strong it threw really great of course one of the scents that throws really strong gives me a headache so I had to swap it out but if you like fruity sweet scents this is one of them and it's very strong blackberry jam streusel kuchen is the next one for most girls and this one was really good you got like their that cakey note you got the blackberry jam it was light to medium throw for me it was enjoyable i did like that one um a couple scent shots here this one is beezy's in marshmallow sugar cookie I kind of just threw this whole thing in thinking I wasn't going to smell much because it was very light on cold, but it was really good. I could smell it throughout the majority of my like living area and my kitchen, and um, it was a nice marshmallow cookie scent. I mean, you got the marshmallow, you got the cookie, and it was really good. I was surprised because I did not think it would throw very good. Lasting Scent Candles, putting on the fritz. This one was pretty good. It was a little lighter than I would have liked. But it was kind of like a caramely bread type scent, but not so much bread. It was more like a caramel bakery. It was really good, but it was just a little light for my liking. I thought it would be a little stronger than that. Snow Globe, and I hear everybody loves this, but I just didn't get a whole lot. I got a little bit out of it, but I was kind of disappointed in it. Um, it was a little pepperminty, a little marshmallowy, I think, but it was very light. So, I don't know. I was disappointed. From... Swan Creek Candle Company, Bourbon Maple Sugar. These are those huge drizzle melts. This one was okay. It was probably a medium throw for me. You definitely got the maple. It was a really sweet, sweet scent. I don't know if I got a whole lot of bourbon out of it, though. <clears throat> From Better Homes and Gardens, this is Warm Apple Cider. Just like the name implies. You got the cinnamon, you got the spice, you got the apple. It was a nice throwing tart. I like that one. Crisp Fall Leaves is next. This one's just like an outdoors note, and I swear it's just so strong. I don't know if it's the musk in it or what, but it has a decent throw to it. It's always strong. Autumn Hayride, and this one is really nice as well. It was a nice kind of outdoors note with a little bit of like a cooling effect to it, but threw really well, and I did like that one a lot. From, who is this? Holiday time. I think this is Walmart's brand. This is in Christmas mornings. 
And it's supposed to be like a light kind of creamer coffee type scent. Because when you smell it cold, that's what you smell it. When I melt it, I get nothing. So I'm not sure. And I did use two cubes. I get nothing. I might have to use more than that, which is crazy. From Tuscany Candle, Black Magic Licorice. Just the Black Magic, Black Magic. It's a black licorice scent. It's a lighter one. Based, like Compared to Vendor Wax, the Vendor Wax is much better than this. But you do smell the black lic licorice. It's just lighter than... It should be because black licorice is always really strong. One candle from Bath and Body Works in Pumpkin Hayride. And this one was good. I didn't get like a whole lot of throw. I got a little bit of throw from it. But it was kind of like outdoor note with like a little bit of maybe caramel or pumpkin or something like that. But it burned really nice. No soot, no tunneling, no drowning wicks. It had nice fat wicks on it. So it burned really well. And I could smell a, a little bit of a throw from it. But that was the melts for this week, guys. If you have any questions, please comment. And I will talk with you all later. Have a great day. Bye, everybody.